Hi, so I'm Alex Fleming from Coaching for Confidence and what we're going to talk about today, our final tip, number five, is these mindset techniques. So we talked about if we identified triggers which were out of our control, that mindset techniques are the best type of goals to make. So what do I mean by mindset techniques? So these are things like visualisation, mindfulness, um, changing habit loops in your mental thinking, and the easiest one for you to implement on your own, and we've got the perfect time to do it in COVID-19, is mindfulness. So as riders, we're normally 100% busy, okay, and we, we do struggle to switch off. I mean, how many of you can relate to getting home from a busy day at work, rushing to your horse, and you carry on rushing around your horse? You don't actually enjoy that time, it becomes a bit of a chore. Yeah, or perhaps at competitions, you struggle to focus on what you're doing. You've got lots of other thoughts about everything else that's going around you, on around you, rather than actually you and your horse enjoying the competition. I mean, some of my best memories of riding are not the competitions that went really well, and that's because I was outcome focused rather than understanding how to be present and in enjoying the moment. Okay. And once you understand how to do that, it's so much easier to remain calm and in control of your nerves. So um, what I mean by that is once you can learn to identify and once you start practicing the mindfulness, you'll notice when you're buzzing around in your head and you're not present in the moment. And the more you can notice it, the more you can actually learn to slow down and be present you'll gain control of your breathing and it'll have so many other positive knock-on effects for your time with your horse and your relationship with your horse let alone your confidence and your riding so what i want you to do is take the time while we've got it to be present in the moment go for the walks spend time with your dog eat with your family something that you enjoy doing but in that moment turn off the technology no phones and just concentrate on being present in the moment what does the food taste like how warm is it do you feel when you're going for your walk let all your senses become really vivid yeah your hearing your sight the smell the sound and really take notice of everything around you so that almost you're painting a picture that you could show to somebody else in your mind and what you can do throughout your day then is you'll start to notice moments when you're spiraling out and you learn to just bring yourself back into that place of focus. Hope you enjoyed. If you want any more information, check out the website or our Facebook page. Bye for now.